Hi everyone, it's me, Brock from Trade, and thank you for joining my live trading session. You are about to see me trading live and watch my PL live, which I believe is the best way to learn trading. Anyway, market's about to open approximately 0.6% up. Yesterday, we started down, as you can see here in the SP, we moved up, finished at around zero but we've been coming down recently and maybe we're at the pullback time right now i don't know we're gapping up therefore likely to continue but i'm a bit suspicious about it anyway it's going to be interesting so stay tuned and plenty of links right here below if you want to join me in my live trading room where i trade each and every day and share my picks live every day there's a 14 day trial right here below and if you want to trade the same platform i do the colmex pro platform Again, links below. Let me welcome my trading room members and start the trading session right now. Hi everyone. Market just opened uh, up 0.55 S&P. Same in the Nasdaq. Both of them are gapping up. Yesterday, we started with the gap down, but we did move up and finished uh, at around zero in the S&P. So likely to continue to move higher although i'm very suspicious because you know the overall trend is down anyway let's look for longs because that's what we start with some stocks i'm following today tesla's up 1.8 percent starts with a gap up coming down we could go long if it moves over to 16.50 right now i'm going to post it A bit early so mind your quantity in yep, case yep. it's going to trigger very small size for me i'm long tesla Ooh, a big spike up i did not get it to 1650 actually over 217 but still looks fine i'm posting mara Watch the over 980 it's a small mover relatively small mover stops going to be around 20 25 cents getting ready to go long mara over 980 i'm long mara well actually did not trigger i thought it did for a second there maybe it did i'm not sure Tesla's back. Tesla's over the highs. I'm getting ready for a partial. On seat over 218 for a partial. It's there. Taking a partial now. Took a partial in Tesla. Very, very happy to turn this one to a profitable trade, although definitely not as much as I was looking for, but honestly. I'm going to buy some Tesla if it pulls back down somewhere under 217. I'm going to add to my long trade. Not much size. It's getting there. Buying now. Bought at around 217. On the pullback. Hoping for a new high. I want to do the same with uh, NVIDIA. It's a big mover. I'm reducing my size and I'm going long NVIDIA right now. Using this pullback from the highs. I don't want to chase a stock up. The way it moved up and moved over the highs is beautiful. I don't want to chase it. Okay. Here comes Mara to my target price. Getting ready for a partial. Trying to get a bit more. And I am getting a bit more. I am getting a bit more. Getting ready for a partial in Mara now. Took my partial in Mara. We started up uh, approximately 0 0.5. Now we're up just over 0 0.7. S&P so far moving higher. The thing is, traders do not trust market direction when the market's moving up and the overall trend is down it's very very hard to trust oh look at that beautiful beautiful moving tesla i'm selling more now sold some more now took that spike up over the highs 
There's a pearl shell. Mars holding. Come on, Nvidia. Be nice. Let's get going, Nvidia. Here comes Nvidia Scott. Nvidia is over the highs. Getting ready for a partial. Let's go, Nvidia. Let's spike up. Good. Good. Good girl. Now, took my partial in Nvidia. Turned out to be a beautiful trade. Now a new high. I'm selling some more. Well, traders, just 11 minutes into the trading session, the market started with a gap up, so you would expect a gap and go. Now, always concentrate on stocks which are moving with the market, like Tesla started with a gap up, you expect a gap and go. Now, normally, when you have a big gap up, you expect the stock to come down, some profit taking, and then move over the highs. Now, I did not buy it once it moved over the highs. I kind of missed it. So I was waiting for a pullback. I bought it on the pullback and then I added one small on the pullback. So end result, two small trades in Tesla and uh, just around $1,500 as you can see here. Same idea with Nvidia. I did not buy it when it moved to a new high. I was waiting for a pullback. I do not chase stocks, never ever chase stocks. So I did buy it on a pullback, relatively small size because Nvidia is a big, big mover. And the same idea with Mara. I mean, it's all the same idea. Now Mara was a classic gap and go because right now, as you can see, it's up 18%. Started up, came down again, some profit taking, and then reversed, I did buy this one at the reversal point. So that one worked out nicely too. So just three trades in 11 minutes up $4,200 and some open trades too, like $50 in Mara, $170, $60 in Nvidia, $150 in Tesla, doing very well for 11 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Plenty of links right here below if you want to sign up for my live trading room. And if you want to trade the same platform I do, which I believe is the, probably the best platform in the world for active day traders, that's the Colmex Pro platform. Again, links below. Please hit that like button if you like this video, and I'll see you in my next video.